I want to first thank my friend Gail Shore and everyone involved in cultural jambalaya for their work to promote cross-cultural understanding in the classroom. I've always believed that our state's vitality comes from the diversity of our people and the deep-rooted respect we have for different customs and traditions. The Windows and Mirrors video series is a terrific example of that, and I want to congratulate you on your great success with these forward-thinking DVDs. I know that Cultural Jambalaya's first video was honored with a National Education Award last year, and I think that's truly an impressive accomplishment, especially considering that your organization is 100% volunteer operated. Through the creative use of imagery and storytelling, you're expanding the minds and perspectives of young people, inspiring them to think more broadly, teaching them to be citizens of the world, and there is no better time to do that than now when we have to depend on our kids to think in a different way, to reach out, to not just stand in the opposite corners of the boxing ring, to not just think of their own little corner of the world, but to reach out to the rest of the world. Your work builds on a long tradition that we have in Minnesota. Our state has always welcomed new ideas and diverse perspectives. That's because we understand that engaging different cultures benefits more than just one individual. A few months ago I actually did a bunch of research on Eugene McCarthy because I was asked to give a lecture uh, at St. John's about his life and during that time I looked at the aspect of his life where he was an internationalist just as Hubert Humphrey, Walter Mondale, um, Bill Frenzel, people that came up during that time period in Minnesota's politics actually coincided with our companies that were also trading and working abroad and our universities and our colleges and it's really made for an amazing situation in our state uh, where despite being landlocked in the middle of the country we have so many connections worldwide. It benefits our state strengthening our role on the world stage through mutual respect and understanding. Whether it's our businesses which export their goods and services to customers around the world or to our families who have made Minnesota a leader in international adoptions opening their hearts and their homes to children from countries across the globe, or our thriving tourism industry, our fifth largest sector, thanks in part to a large number of foreign travelers that want to visit our state, or our world-class education system, which attracts the sharpest minds and brightest talents from every corner of the world. Think about this. The University of Minnesota Twin Cities campus ranks third in the nation among research institutions for the number of students who participate in an education experience abroad. It adds up to 2,500 students every year. In other words, Minnesota has come a long way since many, many years ago when we had one of only two senators in the United States Senate, that would be our Senator Hendrick Shipstead, who voted against the UN Charter. The other one, by the way, was from North Dakota. But since then, we have spread our wings across the world. Minnesota is advancing the grand America tradition of building bridges, of practicing tolerance, of celebrating our differences and uniting in our shared beliefs. These are the things that we prize in our state and our country. And these are the things that you celebrate through cultural jambalaya. Thank you for everything you're doing to broaden the minds of our young people, to open their eyes to different cultures and perspectives, to build a better world community. Keep up the good work and please enjoy your celebration. You've earned it.